All right, Spirit has a really important, vital information for you guys that I want to give to you because I just had a very detailed moment with Spirit. Like, I had a full-on conversation and, and I just had, like, this whole um, revelation type of thing happen to me where I cried out and, and spoke to ancestors, Spirit guides, loved ones, Spirit, all together, everyone I spoke to. And I, and I felt like, spirit wanted me to like get on here and talk to you guys about what this what this means for everyone okay so first things first i'm gonna tell you guys right now it is ultimate time to release and let go of this bullshit i'm hearing it is time it's it's been a long you've done this long enough long enough i'm hearing so whatever that means for you whatever that means for you you've done this long enough and i'm hearing the pity party that we had i'm hearing your spirit guide say hey look man we're trying to see you enjoy your life uh what are you, what are you afraid of and some of you are, are literally afraid of wealth so what does that mean flo what the fuck you mean i'm afraid of wealth i'm not afraid to be wealthy believe it or not actually you can fear wealth like you can be afraid like what if i get rich and what am i gonna do and so you have to like convince yourself that you are worthy of being wealthy and that you were born to be wealthy actually it's your birthright every one of us was born wealthy nothing is lacking and limited here on earth god has never said none of you got to be poor that's not how it works mm -hmm. this message if you tuned in then you have a big big listen you have a big advancement coming i'm hearing okay there's something big coming towards you and this is why spirit wants to reiterate this message it's coming towards you you're having a fucking big level up a big one but it's like almost like spirit doesn't want to say but before we can help you level up you have to let this go but it's true some of you if this is a relationship i'm hearing if even if it's a job you hate your job i'm hearing you hate it you kept saying i'm hearing for the past six months I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. I'm going to leave. I'm going to quit. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. But you can't, so for some reason, you just can't seem to let it go or like find something else. It's your fear. For, I'm hearing you're afraid to even ask for a promotion, some of you. Okay. Others of you, this is a relationship. And I hate to say it this way, but you've been with this person for a while. And I don't want to be the bearer of bad news because I come to bring, I come bearing good news. That's what I'm here for. However, the good news is that you're leveling up. But there's something, either a relationship or something like this. And whatever, whoever you're with or you're standing around right now and you're looking at them like useless. You know, this, I'm here and this person, they don't take the garbage out. Look, I don't know. This is what, this, what's coming through. I'm going to give it what it's coming through. They don't take the garbage out. They don't help you. They can't pull up with $50 if you needed it. They don't fucking... You were in the hospital. They weren't even there for you, I'm hearing. Why are you holding on to this person? Some of you, why are you holding on to this thing? If this has to do with any addictions for any of you, that's another thing. It's time to release those fully. Weed, kratom, whatever the fuck you're taking, right? Even if it seems like it's nothing, it's over the counter. I'm, it's legal. Yeah, alcohol is legal and it kills more people than anything else. You know, <laughs> just remember that at one point heroin was legal, okay? So just remember that. Remember that we're being brought down and kept down by society and my heart chakra right there some of you guys have to change your your eating butter i'm hearing cholesterol it's like that habit <sighs> the foods that you're eating are not serving your highest good okay and so one of the things i might i'm a big girl right but i i eat consistently healthy i just don't exercise because if i did i'd be like fucking skinny as hell right now because i don't eat unhealthy nasty shit like fast foods none of that shit so i'm gonna tell you right now if you stepped into this message into this channel message Spirit wants you to know something. First thing is you have to stand up for yourself because some of you are dealing with, I'm telling you, this is, some of you are dealing with some astral bullies and these are, it's not even like, these people are not even, they're from your past lives for some of you. This is somebody you were with in a past life. It could even be in this lifetime and they just keep, I'm hearing, I have dreams about them out of nowhere. It's like, oh. Why are you showing up in my dreams, bro? What do you want? You know, it's like spirits like you need to stand up for yourself and you got to put your foot down. It's time to put those boundaries up because some of you guys are not letting go of people. It's like these boundaries need to be put up. Hey, buddy. No, the answer is no, motherfucker. No. And I'm hearing this for somebody right now. It just came right into me. S somebody here has someone that like 
whenever they're down on their luck, they call you like, Hey, you know, I'm really fucked up right now. Can you help me? Can I stay at your house, sleep on the couch? It's going to be for a week. And somebody keeps calling you, asking you for $20, $10, $15. And you keep helping this person. And you keep helping this person. And this person's draining the fucking life force out of you. Literally, the sacral chakra. I just felt like somebody pinched my vagina. And I don't mean to be nasty, but it felt like somebody went, eh. It's because the sacral. They could either they could be using you for sex. You know it, though. This is not something that's new to you. It's not like I'm telling you something you didn't know. Spirit wants you to know. This person is, oh, a sex demon. Oh, I can't even say. It. I'm sorry. It's like they are, ugh, they, ugh, I feel gross. <laughs> like, you know one of those people, you ever had sex with somebody and been like, God, I got to go take an AIDS test. You know what I'm saying? That's what it, it feels like. This person might be out there fucking other people, female or male. I don't give a fuck who it is. You have to be real cautious about it. Like, you don't even want to kiss them on the lips. Like, that type of shit. But you love them and you care for them. You know what I'm saying? You love them and you care about them. But you have to understand something. Yeah, and if you stepped into this, you were meant to be here. Because I'm going to tell you, I had a fucking 45-minute conversation with Spirit. And I was talking to my, my Spirit guides. Talking to past people. Talking to ancestors and loved ones who are supposed to love me and care about me. But are hating on me. Because, yeah, let me just tell you something. Yes, they do be hating on you in the Spirit world. Yes, they do be bothering you in the Spirit world. And I had to sit there and be like, hey, guys, what is actually the problem? Like, don't you guys want me to succeed so I could be the one for you to be like, hey, we're doing this. I'm, the, I'm, I'm not the chosen one. I'm the best. I'm doing this for all of us. And so, like, I made it real clear to Spirit. First of all, I apologize to anybody I've ever hurt in the past. I told them whatever I did, I'm sorry. I really, to the, my shadow self, I'm sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And I kept saying it over and over and over again. And I had this massive conversation with them. I let them know, you know, don't make fun of people who died of addictions. I'm hearing somebody in your family died of an overdose. You're constantly defending them. And it's actually causing you to draw that energy in. So it's like almost like every Anytime you speak of your fa a father, it could be anytime you speak of this person, you know, you get that. Oh, but they did it to themselves a answer and it pisses you the fuck off. And it's like you have to let that go, too. It's almost like you're trying to defend this person for their alcoholism. I'm hearing some of you guys. There was somebody who hello. <laughs> there was somebody who was um very mm, mm, somebody was something with the throat. I see a tube down their throat and I see a man laying down. He looks a little bit heavier on the face in the hospital and he's got a tube down his throat and he's telling me like while I, while I, while I had that tube down my throat and my family, I'm getting, while I had that tube down my throat and my family was there, I wanted to say I'm sorry to my kid, especially my daughter, he's saying. So whoever that's for. There's a real reason why, why you came to this fucking channel message. You're leveling up. I, I don't give a fuck. It's, if you don't think I'm talking to you, then I'm not talking to you. Sorry. But you're leveling up, right? There's people that tuned out. You know why? Because they know. They're like, you know what? I'm not even, I'm not fucking doing their shadow work. And I don't deal with astral and with spirit. That's because they're not, and they're not there yet. They're not there yet. But those of you who are here, you're there. And I'm telling you right now, some of you guys have, uh, I see a black man who died and he's, he's telling me, tell my, tell my son, I said, hello. Or nephew, I'm not sure, but it's like it's like they look at you like a son, like yo nephew, like. But I'm hearing yo nephew, which is which is interesting. Okay, I'm here with it and with it. Yeah, because this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. This is a level up that's gonna increase, and you know what? It's like if you don't if you don't understand this part of your level up. One of the things I'm also hearing: stop sabotaging your relationships. Okay, whoever you are, stop, stop, because you're sabotaging. I'm hearing you got somebody good in your life and all of a sudden like you you're scared so scared to be loved properly that you yourself is you're self sabotaging you're self sabotaging like you're like with this person this person's trying to be good to you but you keep self sabotaging it okay you keep telling yourself like they're lying to me they're probably lying to me this is like a person who's been in toxic relationships, doesn't trust nobody. And now all of a sudden the universe brought you somebody who's good. They're good for you, good to you. And you're pushing them away. You, you keep pushing this person away. I'm hearing they're trying to be, get close to you, but you keep pushing them away. Okay? I hope this is true. We're being evicted and lost my job. I'm scared to death of myself and my family. That's okay. Live in that fear for a moment, but let it go and understand there's a reason why. 
right? I remember a few years ago we got our house that we were in, like they we were being I don't know, there was some something that happened with the land and there was like poop in the back of the land and we were upset because everybody was like, We don't want to move like out of nowhere and then we did and when we did the energy shifted. We went from like always miserable, everybody arguing, to all of a sudden, even though we struggled financially for a little it's like ten years ago, we felt so much better in that new place. Okay, it was smaller and guess what? It brought us together and everybody was working together. And I'm telling you, there was times when family members had to move into my house and we were like, oh, like it's going to be so hard. But it ended up being the most magical thing. And then we got separated and everybody was pissed about it. But then it ended up being good for them and for them. It's like now all of a sudden that person was mad because they moved out. But all of a sudden now their business is doing great and they're doing all that. You understand? I am, Flo. I push anyone away when I feel most loved. I feel the best way I can defend myself by, by people. So I'm going to tell you, please listen to me, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, please, with all my heart. And I'm, I'm talking to me too. When the universe brings you somebody who wants to love you this time, please don't push them away because you are receiving. Some of you have someone who's coming into your life. They are nothing like anyone you've ever known or have been with. This is a whole, a whole new world. I'm hearing that song. And I'm hearing the Ariel song, part of that world. This person's like from a whole nother planet. They're coming from spirits, bringing them from the fucking multi-dimension. Oh, I just saw a spark of white light right there. A spark of diamond light. They're coming from another dimension. And I know I'm hearing, I know it's hard. Spirit keeps saying, I know it's hard. To, you're struggling because, hey, buddy, let me tell you, you're breaking generational curses. You understand me? So you, you're judging yourself right now? Are you kidding me? Do you know what you're doing? Do you know that you are... Breaking, breaking generational curses and, and you're telling yourself you're not doing good enough? Are you kidding me? If you don't stop in the name of love before you break your own heart, look in the mirror and remember. What did I do four years ago and where am I today? Oh my God. I remember four years ago I used to say I'm going to be doing this. And da, da, da. and like every time, like for instance me, I said one day I'm going to own a lake house. And every time we've been moving because we moved a lot because we're in the process of doing something with the house and, and it, all this shit. And every time we do, each time we get we have a lake closer and closer to us. The last house we were staying in, there was a lake right um, across the street. And now there's a lake right like right over that street over there, right across. So it's like the lake is coming. It's closer and closer. The next thing you know, my house will be there. My lake will be in front of it. Do you understand the manifestation? If you pay attention, they're, they're literally the, the signs are there. And Spirit wants you to know. All I'm mean, to I know this is so fucking hard for some of us, for all of us. We're impatient, right? Let's just be real and keep it real. I'm a Libra rising. I have a lot of Sag in my chart, Scorpio. I have five placements of Libra. I have masculine, seven placements of mas masculine. And I'm saying this for a reason. I'm a Virgo rising. A Leo is in my Venus. When it comes to love, I deal with love like a Leo, which Leos can be very egotistical, but very insecure when it comes to love. Question everything. Not trust. Be a little jealous and overbearing and unsure. And that's why you have to understand all of these things that are placed in your birth chart and all that they're there because you're here to learn whatever your sign is in this lifetime literally you came to learn lessons of that sign's characteristics so let's say you're a capricorn and you're here your your lesson is to learn not to be so materialistic not to be mean and cold-hearted and and you know things like that or if you're a cancer your lesson is to not be stuck at home and not want to be around people and and go into the crab mode and the hermit mode and not leave that that there if you're a scorpio for instance your lesson is to like trust more and to open up and to understand that you are a cosmic occult manifesting spiritual god or goddess and you have to understand that in this lifetime you came to learn those lessons Okay, and so your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors are there with you. That video I just posted on my Instagram, I sat in my car and did that. Literally went to the back seat, the front seat, just to, to make that video because I wanted you to know how I see it and how I view it. And now let me tell you something. When I posted that video and I was watching it laughing because it's funny, but that's not how it is. It'll be me, my higher self being like, come on, let's get this done. Let's do this. This is me. Oh, my higher self's like, come on, let's do this, let's do this. My spirit guide's like, come on, you can do this, please do it, please. And then my ancestors are like, 
got to do this, man. Come on. You're the one. We chose you. We chose you. And they're not thinking, why the fuck did I choose you? They're not talking about you like that. Your spirit guides are not like, you're bad. No, you don't listen. Your spirit guides don't say this stupid bitch. What they say is, ah, it's okay. We'll keep working with them. Your guides, your ancestors, your loved ones, those who really truly love you, the healed ancestors, healed loved ones, healed spirit guides, they're not going to give up on you. They're never going to give up on you. Let me make that very clear to you. They don't. Because when I was in my shittiest time in the fucking, I remember one night in a hotel, I wanted to kill myself. I was out away working for fucking uh, hosting clubs and, and I was lonely and by myself. And I remember being in the corner and crying and I had a fucking razor in my hand and I was seriously thinking, this is it for me. I'm done. I'm going to tell you, I remember the voice that said to me, don't you dare give up and i stood up and was like what the fuck was that and like, am i am i high am i super high but no it was a voice that said don't you dare give up but there were voices that were telling me fuck it you're worthless just give up already you're never gonna be able to fix this you'll never change look at you you destroyed everything everybody hates you nobody respects you nobody loves you this is what i was hearing but that one fucking voice all of these voices that told me i was shit i wasn't gonna make it i wasn't gonna do it but then that one voice turned to me and said don't you fucking dare give up and they saved my life that night because I almost had a heart attack that night. And this is fucking facts. And I'm standing here right now telling myself, oh, I should be doing better. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm looking like, bitch, do you remember where the fuck you were for six years ago? Five, six years ago? Are you retarded? My broke ass had money today, Flo. Where the fuck I send them right now or whatever I need? What's the what's the one on one? <laughs> no, IG bucket list. Save it. Save it. Your broke ass had money today. Save that money. Watch my free reads, my collective reads. They literally are. I'm telling you, I do collective reads for the collective, and you guys have messages in there for you just gotta listen and tune out the fact that i'm doing it for the collective and going but it, this, she's talking to everyone i want you to look at every collective read i do and go this is my personal reading because it is whatever it is now i'm not charging somebody who doesn't have money when the time is right babe and you have the money and you're good you hit me up until then don't worry about it just watch my readings and that's that i'll do the mini reads tomorrow again and the next day i'm gonna try to do the mini reads twice a week or three times a week. I don't want to OD because then like every day I'm doing that. But anyway, the message. I really wanted this to be quick and to the point, but Spirit keeps dragging it on. They're saying, Flo, tell them what you said in the bathroom. Tell them how you spoke to us. My heart chakra. Ba-boom. It just exploded. They want you to know. They hear you. We hear you. And you know what? I'm hearing what you just did. If you bared your soul to Spirit, if you have not, do it. Like you talk to God. God, listen, I'm just going to be honest with you. This, the, 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 say everything that you need to say without being afraid. Who's judging you? Because nobody's pointing the finger at you. God's not like, you're bad. You're going to hell. Mm. That's not God, baby. That's, those are <laughs> beings that came from another universe and was like, hey, I'm God. And everybody's like, oh my God, must be God. They came from the sky. No, it's not God. They were just came from the sky and people didn't know any better and they said that's god today you come somebody comes down claims to be god we're gonna be like that's an alien don't listen to him you know what i'm saying it's totally different so you have to understand you're not those entities and those beings that tell you thou shall go to hell because you you know uh, i don't know you fucked your sister i don't know i don't know why that ugh, that just came out or i was gonna say your husband's sister whatever i'm just saying the point is you're not going to hell hell is here it's a state of mind so get the fucking get that out of your head Get out of your head. Nobody's judging you. Nobody's wishing you hell. Nobody's wishing you bad. There are spirits that don't want to see you succeed. There are people that it's just like you have as above, so below. You have haters in this world. You have haters in other dimensions. The point is, in this world, when people hate on you, do you walk around going, fuck you, motherfucker, and fuck you, and fuck your mother, too, and fuck you, bitch. Do you, you don't do that because you'd be fighting all day and you'd have to defend yourself against people all day. So what do you do? Love and light, bye-bye. Love and light, but no. Love and light, but no. All the people that hate me on this planet and other planets and other realms and this realm, because there's more people that love me that than they hate me. And know that. You think this I'm telling you what to think. There's more people that love you than that, that hate you. So what you're gonna do is send everybody who hates you, quote unquote, love and light. Because they don't even they don't even know why they hate you. They're just doing whatever feels like that right now i'm gonna just hate this person because i feel like it and there a gray a gray cat walking in front of my house right there a gray cat literally a dark gray cat and that's a sign look up spiritual meaning of a dark gray cat because that's it means something so what's the message the message is first of all rewatch this because uh spirit wants you to watch 
I, no, I'm not going to say it because people will be like, oh, you're just trying to get people to watch your readings. You need to go watch the last couple of readings I did f for the collective. If you're so inclined to, put your headphones on, lay down and meditate. And I'm hearing spirit say, listen to her talk. We're talking through her and giving you the messages. Because some of you are leveling up. You're leveling up. No, hell no, King. Of course not. Are you kidding me? You know when I see somebody's eyes... And I'm not just talking about her. I'm talking about people in general. I saw a picture of somebody. And somebody showed me. And she was like, Flo, look at this. And I look at it. And I was like, whoa. And I froze the picture. And I, and I blew it up. And I sent it to her. I was like, do you see that? She fucking calls me. She's like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, that's the person and then the entity. You see how she? they have a fade here? It looks like there's no hair there. Um... The chin is coming out to here. I'm not, I wasn't referring to that, but yeah. There was a chin coming out to here, and there was teeth that were sharp, and the fingers looked like this. Like, all fucking weird. Right? And I saw that in the picture, and I, the, the camera caught their entity. So much so that the entity had the camera focus on them, and the people in the background were blurred. Pay attention. Pay attention. People carrying these entities, and they're out here, and you're following them. You're listening to them. You're thinking they're great because they're getting that bag. They dress in Gucci. They must be cool because they have, look at their house, look at their car, look at their clothes. They have, they're cool. Are you kidding me? Kim Kardashian, oh my God, she's a baller. She's a hustler. She's a fucking a super mom. Ba -ba -ba. She, they hold, write whole blogs about her being stressed out and crying because she has four kids and cries herself to sleep. Bitch, cry with the rest of us, okay? You got nannies and chefs and maids. Try doing that without none of that. You will fucking kill yourself, bitch. You would kill yourself because I know parents that have one kid that are losing their fucking minds. Are you kidding me? These people are sick. These people are sick. Listen to me. Don't do not. And I'm not talking about people in particular. I don't give a fuck. Celebrity, not celebrity. Money doesn't make somebody evil. Ego and, and, and egotistical and I look at me, I'm rich and you're poor. That makes people egotistical and shitty when they don't do nothing good for charity. And I'm not talking about them in particular. There are people with millions of dollars in this world. They don't fucking put a dime to charity because they don't give a fuck because they didn't come here to help nobody else. They want to be ego, fulfill my ego, be better than everybody and fuck everybody. My point is this. You are leveling up. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Danny. You are leveling up. Let me just give you this. We are, we are leveling up. And right now, spirit's like, all right, are you ready? Yes. Are you afraid? No. Are you sure? No. Is there something that I'm giving off that's making you think I'm afraid? It might be that you just like, you're not taking the action, but hold on. Hold on, spirit. I get what you're saying, but can you make clear to me what actions you want me to take? Because I understand I need to take action, but I'm not exactly clear on where to begin what is it should i start working out every day what should what is that what it is are you telling me like if i go to the gym every day or if i um i don't know, quit smoking cigarettes things will get better or just tell me clearly so that i understand follow the yellow brick road follow the yellow brick road follow the yellow brick road and i'm i'm ready i'm ready i'm not afraid you gotta say this i'm not afraid of wealth i know that i'm wealthy i'm already wealthy i just have to receive it and grab it so anyway the point is <clears throat> This is the throat chakra too. And whatever you're fearing, your creative arts, whatever it is that you're good at, if you're afraid of it, I'm hearing spirits say it's time to release that fear. So whatever you're afraid of, right? Whatever you, you're good at, like I said, singing, art, music, whatever you're good at, because there's something the spirit's guiding you to say. You're good at this and you're good at that, but there's something that's holding you back from it. It's time to say, you know what? I got this. I got this. I can do this. I can do it. I'm not afraid. To take a stand. So everybody, take my hand. You know? All right, guys. So remember, this is this. if you stepped into this message, it's for a reading. For a reading. For a reading and for a reason. And I'm telling you, Spirit wants you to know this for a reason. So I love you. And I hope you took this message to heart. Because when I say, and remember, you're just like, when is it going to happen? What? Sometimes, sometimes you'd be like, oh, but when is it going to manifest? I'm telling you, sometimes it takes 
a message could take three to four to six months, even a year to manifest. But it all depends on where, if you're like, okay, I know that it's going to take me at least a several months because I have to take this step, take that step. You know, let's say you're about to get your driver's license. It's not going to happen overnight, right? It's going to take a minute to get that driver's license. So whatever it is you're working on, as Spirit said, think about that and how long you think it will take if you just did this or did that. How long will it take to make these changes? So for some of you, it could happen in a couple of days. When I say manifesting, I mean like manifesting a new reality, like a brand new New beginning meaning a good feeling going out i'm hearing no more hermit mode time to get out there you know and i'm hearing this is like leo energy i'm hearing like it is time to like get out there i'm hearing it's time to get out there a bit you know for whatever reason that is spirit wants you to get on out there so when you feel the ner urge the nerge when you feel the urge to go to go do something to go out maybe to go you know what i'm saying um then go then go this is time to go you understand all right guys all right, y'all. I love you. And just remember what I said. Stay focused. Know that you are blessed. Know that you're being guided. Do not have fears. Take the fears out and go step into your 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 new blessing. Because it's time. It's time. You deserve it. You deserve it. Go go out there and go out there and, now. Go out there and be somebody. Okay? Alright, guys. I love you. Me having a North Node in Leo. Wow. Okay. So you know that message was clearly directed towards you you know so that north node in leo that's not a joke like that's really that's really deep that you have that uh-huh so yeah so go ahead and you know follow through with with what i'm saying to you okay and look look what i bought because i know because my, my manifestation is, i bought this because that's gonna be in my house life is better at the lake house right because i know because that's what i'm seeing i want these little picnic things that when they go out you you can make like a little picnic picnic basket you, you, know, you see that and then my little all my stuff to go out look at this little tray it's like a little folding tray when you go go to a picnic and this and i got my little um my little um s'mores thingies I make s'mores with this like you know i'm getting i'm, I'm preparing for my for my trip <laughs> for my you know what i'm saying i'm preparing for it because i know it's mine and it's already here okay guys i love you and i'll see you guys later please pay attention to the signs especially right now okay love you guys i'll see you later Bye. Bye, guys.